Hey, what's up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma, and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. Today, I'm addressing you guys' assumptions. So, I chucked a little thing up on my Instagram story, basically asking you guys to send through everything that you assume of me. This was like a trend this time last year. I did the same video about 12 months ago, obviously, with different assumptions. If you want to go watch that one, I'll link that in the cards or down in the description box below. There are a lot of assumptions here that we went through last night when I was watching TV, and I scrolled through all the assumptions on the little question thing and I typed them all into my computer so that I could have them in notes so I could just read them straight off there. I was sorting them out this morning like categorizing them so he'd get through it a bit faster and I went to press print just out of curiosity to see how many pages it was. There's 10 pages of assumptions here so if I can be bothered going through and counting them all this is how many assumptions there were. I've just finished filming this video guys but I'm just popping in here at the start just to make a little announcement but this video is very long with a lot of speaking. Probably more of a podcast kind of type thing so if you want to grab a snack grab a drink and then sit down and watch the video feel free. Enjoy. <laughs> So I've put them into little like categories kind of to make this go through a bit faster because a lot of them are very similar. But yeah, well, let's get started on that's we're going to be here for days. First up, I have the school category. You miss high school? Not at the moment, I don't. You get stressed over school? Well, we're talking past tense now, guys, because I've left school. But I, I don't know, I don't remember a point getting really stressed over school. You were the teacher's pet all through school. Not intentionally, but yeah. You're very smart and do really good in school. I mean, I, I hate the word smart because anyone can be smart if they want to be. Like, if you apply yourself, you can be smart. For example, I'm not going to say names here, but someone who I know, I think they may have had a few, like, learning difficulties. Not trying to be mean here, like, I'm just saying how it is. They knew that they were going to struggle, like, with their tests and assignments and stuff. So they applied themselves and they ended up just making ducks in high school, so... You actually enjoyed school? I did up until, like, halfway through year 13. After that, it was just, like... I was over it. You were young for your school year and you actually loved it. That is true. You left high school early or were you just young? I was just young the way that schooling works in New Zealand. I was just one of the younger people in my year. Because rather than doing like year one twice, I just started year one like a third of the way through. You struggled to decide what to do after school. Yes, I did. Going into the start of my last year of high school, I thought I was going to do travel and tourism and now I'm doing communications. So yeah. You preferred high school over intermediate and primary. Yes and no. Like for me, primary school resonates anxiety for me. Intermediate resonates drama and high school resonates just growing up. Your best subject is science. No, I dropped out of science. <laughs> I assume you were a little embarrassed of your NCA results. I wouldn't say embarrassed is the right word, probably just slightly disappointed in myself. You expect to get good NCA grades. That is true. You have a really good ethic and hold yourself to a high standard when it comes to grades. That is true. Now we move on to university. So we have you're really excited for university, you're nervous for university, you're going to university, you're excited to start uni, you're nervous for uni, you're not sure what you're going to do this year, you always wanted to go to uni but you weren't too sure what degree you wanted to do, you're confident about uni, you're terrified about going to uni. I am excited but I'm also very nervous and I am going to university and because I'm going to get questions if I don't say it, I'm going to do communications double majoring in marketing and digital business. And now I move on to the YouTube category so you hope to make a career out of YouTube? Not really. I mean if it's a bit of a side hustle great awesome but it's not. I'm not doing this for like the money. You're not going to continue YouTube this year while you're studying? Yes I am. People picked on you for starting your YouTube channel? Yeah they did but it's funny now because now they want to be my friend. <laughs> You love doing YouTube, that is true, otherwise I wouldn't be sitting here right now. You became confident through YouTube, that is actually very interesting, that is also very true. YouTube is turning into a job for you and you don't enjoy it as much as you used to. I wouldn't say that, I mean it is turning into a bit of a job, but I wouldn't say that it's making me enjoy it any less. You find it hard to come up with video ideas, hence why I'm sitting here right now reading what you guys think about me. You think because you have a YouTube channel with subscribers that you're better than everyone. No, I actually found this one really interesting when I was reading them out like to myself last night. I wouldn't say that, but it's really hard when you go like out in public. Like not that it's like a bad thing, but when I go out with friends and stuff and people come up and recognize me, like don't get me wrong, it's like literally so cool. Like I wouldn't say I consider myself better than anyone else, but it's just hard to be normal kind of. You're different in real life to how you come across in your videos. I would actually probably say yes because it's so easy for me to sit here right now I'm talking to myself like no one's gonna judge me for sitting here right now talking to myself and when I'm out in public and there's people around I go into my shell a little bit you do YouTube just for the money no I do not because if I was doing it just for the money I would get a 9 to 5 job because YouTube does not pay as well as a 9 to 5 job would you don't want to pursue YouTube as a full time career in the future that is true I mean if it gets to a point where it does need to become a full time career then maybe I would consider that but at this point it's not like I'm striving to be a full time YouTuber like you know you love YouTube, but it's a lot of effort, that is true. You're putting out merch again. Yes, I am, and that will be in the next 10 days, maybe? 10 days to two weeks. You get recognized in public heaps. Not really, I mean, I don't go out in public very often, but when I do go out in public, I 
do get recognized probably 50% of the time. You are so upset to be working with cool brands. Yes, I am. I literally got to use my own discount code last night to buy something that I genuinely like wanted like you know and that was like literally so cool that you have a job and you work i have youtube but i wouldn't consider that a job you want a new job um no if i wanted a job i would go get one but i don't so here i am sitting in my room talking to myself now we're going to wealth i literally have a whole entire screen full of people going you're rich you have a lot of money you've got more money than you let on your family's kind of wealthy um i would just like to say that no we're not Rich? I actually hate that word so much. We're not rich, we just spend our money wisely. You're saving up for a house. Unintentionally, yes. I'm 17, like I'm not gonna go out and buy a house like right now, like I can't afford that. But unintentionally, yes, I am putting like a bit of money aside, like a savings account, where eventually, yeah, that probably will go towards a house. Next we go on to alcohol and drugs. So, um, sometimes you feel insecure about falling into the drinking culture in New Zealand. No. New Zealand does have a quite a big drinking culture, but my family don't drink, I don't drink, and I'm not worried about falling into that because I feel like I have more self-control than that. You judge all your friends that drink. No, I don't. If my friend's drinking, I'm happy to sober drive. I'm happy to hold them up when they're walking down the street. Done that a few times. You don't drink to get drunk. I don't drink at all. You don't drink because you don't want to get drunk. That is not true. I don't drink because I don't like the idea of putting alcohol into your body like seeing what it does to people I just that just can't be good for you you do drink sometimes no I don't I have tried a sip of champagne and a sip of cider the cider was okay but that was kind of because it was had like lemonade and the champagne tasted disgusting you have felt pressured into drinking not really like when I'm away from alcohol and stuff I kind of think oh it could be cool to like you know try it one day and then as soon as I get into a drinking environment I'm like absolutely not you're against drugs I am especially as someone who has to take drugs for medical reasons I do not understand why anyone would ever take it for leisure reasons and I actually kind of find it almost offensive that people take drugs for leisure like I know so many people who are on medication and stuff that would do anything to get off it and the fact that people take it because they feel like it that just grinds my gears a little bit you have never been drunk that is true you hate parties that is not true I just hate when they get out of control Owen this is a whole subject just on Owen um, so if you don't know Owen is my boyfriend but assume that you and Owen are together yes we are but Owen doesn't pay you much attention I require a lot of attention so I mean yeah when I'm around him like he pays me a lot of attention but it's because he doesn't really have a choice so I don't know he says I'm not needy but I feel like I am you and Owen want to get married young I wouldn't say super young like I'm not going to get married tomorrow I mean I kind of get married I'm 17 I assume Owen is the best boyfriend also how do I find one like that? <laughs> I don't know. You were only going to Waikato to be closer to Owen. Well true but not true. I mean I was looking at Auckland Uni and I didn't really want to go there and Owen's like oh have you looked to see if they've got a Waikato? I was like nah like they're more into like the law sort of stuff. I was like oh I'll just have a look and then I found like something that I wasn't even looking at and I was like that is perfect. So now I'm literally going to be like 15 minutes down the road from Owen and I'm like you love Owen, that is very true. You see yourself marrying Owen, that is also true. You and your boyfriend are getting married, um, uh, not as of yet. You said in a video that rugby is way better than soccer slash football and now you are dating a football player. I regret saying that. That is very true. I cannot stand rugby. But at the time I said that, I didn't really like rugby either, but I just didn't really know what football was like. So I just said rugby because like, you know, it's not the Kiwi thing. But football, I prefer it very much over rugby now. You pretend to like soccer to keep your man happy. That is not true. Literally watching him play football is like the best feeling ever. Like it's one of, like, one of my favorite things like to do is just go watch him play football. I used to drive 45 minutes every Friday night, like during the winter season, just to go watch him play football. Like it was like the best. You hate being alone. You seem content when you have your family or your boyfriend around. That is very, very true. Like I'm going to see Owen tomorrow and like the whole, like I've been kind of like a bit meh all week because I haven't seen him like a few days. And I woke up this morning, I'm like, yes, it's tomorrow. So next category, parents and family. I assume your parents are really laid back as they feel like they can trust you. I feel like that is pretty true. You're the favorite child. I don't know, I said that to mum last night and she just laughed. So I assume that is a no. Your parents aren't that strict. I would probably say that's true. They just know that my brother and I are sensible and we're not gonna go do stupid things. You have a lot of freedom, also true. Your clothes with your parents are very true. A lot of your possessions like clothes, jewelry, shoes, etc. are bought for you by your parents. That is not true. All my clothes I buy for myself, all my jewelry I've either bought for myself or had it gifted to me like my earrings are from my boyfriend. I bought this because I worked babysitting for like three or four days straight and ended up with some money. I'm like I want to buy that. Watch I bought for myself, bought for myself, bought for myself, bought for myself. That was a gift and that was a gift. And obviously Pandora base is a gift because it's the gift that keeps on giving. And this one here was from Santa. You're stuck up and use daddy's money all the time. No, if I want to use daddy's money, I have to give him a full PowerPoint presentation on what I want to buy and what I want to spend. And then just go to turn around and say no. So, yeah. Your parents buy all the things you want. Absolutely not. No, that is not true. Everything that you see here behind me, like 
even my duvet cover, even these lamps, even these bedside tables, that candle, all these Polaroids, everything I bought for myself. Your parents spoil you. I wouldn't say they spoil me. I'm just fortunate to have the parents that I have. Your parents will pay for uni. No, I have got a student loan and I've been saving up for like two years in a little university savings fund so that I don't end up in debt while I'm at uni. Your dad's name is Gary. No, his name is Greg and he actually wants to make merch that says Emma's dad on the front of it. So let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. You love your family. Very true. You've been brought up an amazing, loving and supportive family. That is very, very true. Okay, now we move on to popularity and pals. I assume that you are a people person. Not really, to be honest. You don't have a lot of time for a social life. That is true. You care about everyone and everything around you that is very true you're really popular no i was not popular in high school um at all <laughs> You have a decent sized friend group. My friend group at school, we were like nine of us, including myself. Friends is a thing that's definitely quality over quantity. I mean, my friend group started off as four, and then I joined to make it five, and then two more came to make it seven, and then two more came to make it nine, and then one of them buggered off to Italy. So, hi, Briar. Um, but nah, they're like amazing people, and yeah. You were super nice and care about your friends, that is very true. You're the mum of the friend group. I feel like that's not really true. I feel like we take turns at being the mum of the friend group. You're the super generous and kind friend and end up paying for people when you go out. Not really, because I don't really go out with my friends. We're such a weird friend group. We literally hang out like in school and then we saw each other, yes, no, last week for the first time since the sign up day. And we literally just sat and talked for like four hours, I think it was. Christianity is the next one. So you're proud to be a Christian. I am, and I am a Christian. That answers the next question. You've been a Christian your whole life. That is true. I am Presbyterian. I was like christened when I was like tiny ass. You're very religious and very innocent. I don't like the word innocent. I would prefer to use the word responsible. You have lost a lot of your faith and don't really want to talk about it much. That is not true. So I went to church probably until I was like year seven and then we kind of just stopped going because things just got really busy with our family. So I don't have a lot of knowledge around like the story of how everything came to be and things like that. But one of my goals is to read like the full length of the Bible because I've got like a Bible over there my grandma gifted to me. So I really do want to read through that one day when I'm not so busy. And I'm looking this year to start going back to church in Hamilton. I just don't want to talk about it much because I don't want to say like the wrong things because obviously I'm not that clued up on it all. But I mean I still read my scriptures in the morning i still pray and all that sort of stuff places so you love auckland not really to be honest you don't live in auckland i do live in auckland <laughs> if you move to australia you live in melbourne probably not i probably live in canberra you want to travel the world someday absolutely i want to go to england it's so bad you are a city girl and don't really go to the country much looking out my window right normally i can see a horse out there but the horse is like hibernating but i can see butterflies and birds there's no ducks at the moment, but yeah, no, I am not a city girl at all. You've never been to Nelson, that is not true. I've been there twice, once on a family trip and once for nationals orienteering. You love Fiji a lot, that is very true. Now we have a whole entire section here called Innocence because people have said very, very innocent. You've lived a very sheltered life, you're innocent AF. You're not as innocent as you act, you think you're top. Beep. And you try to act so godly and innocent, but really just mean and nasty. You act innocent, but really quite rowdy. You have never done anything bad in your life. Got your two shoes. You're a good girl. Got your two shoes. You're really responsible. The last one is true. The rest of them are not. Now we have a hope of ones here that are about my personality. You're low-key shy in person. Yes. You're sensitive. Yes. Filled with confidence. No. You're better than you think you are. Right there. Yes. You seem like a shy person who doesn't want to talk to someone unless forced. That's probably true, yeah. Honest and shy. I can be kind of vain when I want to be, but I try and be up where I can. You have very high standards of yourself and do your 100% best to uphold them. That is very true. Super diligent. Yep. You work hard and have a lot of patience. I don't know. I feel like patience, I have it in some situations and not in others. You have your life together. I feel like it appears that way, but I kind of don't. You're really hardworking and when you want something, you never give up. That is true. I suppose there's people throwing compliments at me. I can't really say that they're true or not, so we're just going to move on. Well-rounded kid with good morals. I would say that is true. You are tall. No, I'm not actually. I am probably just average height. I'm like 165 centimeters, I think. People think you're younger than you really are. I feel like that's probably true because I don't wear makeup, so I feel like I always look like I'm like 12 years old anyway, but I'm 17, okay? You try to stay positive all the time, that is true. Always happy and thankful for life. Um, I want to say always. Sometimes I get a bit distracted and forget about how amazing life is. You're always happy. I see the thing is, no, no, not always. Like, I still have my down days, but you guys don't see that because that's the days that I kind of just shrivel up into my own little shell. You're one of those people who use 100 highlighters to make their books look so neat. 
Um, yeah. You're a perfectionist? True. You're a clean freak? True. You're super productive and never lazy? Not so true. You make a to-do list in the morning? True. You rather do something productive than watch Netflix? That is very true. I cannot stand sitting watching Netflix. I could never binge watch a whole show for a whole entire day. I would feel so guilty. You sound the type of girl that has a together. Thanks. I assume you play a sport. I did play netball last year and I have done orienteering and I have played touch and I have played football. I assume you're really fun and sporty. I wouldn't consider myself sporty at all. You eat a really healthy diet? No. I just went downstairs before I filmed this and stuffed my face with burnt chocolate brownies, so no. You get annoyed when people ask about your psoriasis. Not really, like I'd rather people ask me about it than assume. It's the way that people ask about it though, if someone comes up to me and they're like, oh, have you got the measles? It's like, no. Do you think I'd be out in public if I had the measles? If someone came to me and asked like, oh, what's, like, what is that or whatever, and actually showed genuine interest in it, then yeah, sure, I'm happy to tell you. But if someone comes to me and goes, oh, you've got scabies, it's like, no, I do not. If you're a good driver, you aren't a very good driver, and you can only drive auto. I can only drive auto, but I am learning manual. Well, I'm trying to relearn it, should I say. I consider myself a good driver. I consider myself a sensible driver. Sensible is the word of the video. So you are loving but stressed all the time and overthink things people tell you about yourself. That is probably true. I feel like I have a thick skin but some things like, some people's words to me speak more volume than others, put it that way. You are hard on yourself and get anxious easily, that is very true. So you aren't free spirited and against hippies, not that down to earth. That is not true. I I vibe with hippies. Like I am all for everyone just being themselves and I love that hippies are just, they just do their thing. And my parents can get a camper van like this year and they're going to be like, I find they're going to be hippies. <laughs> it's gonna be so funny. You hate sleepovers. That is true unless you're at Owen's house, but that is true because I just, I don't know, living out of a bag ain't my thing. Like literally living out of a bag like a sleeping bag, like that sucks. <laughs> you don't like odd socks, that is true. I would never wear odd socks. I vibe with people who can though, like my friend Devin, she wears odd socks all the time and it is so quirky. Your favorite color is pink. I'm sitting here wearing pink on a pink bed, but no. My favorite color is lilac. Lilac, lilac, lilac. You put your sauce in the fridge even though everyone knows it belongs in the cupboard. I don't eat sauce like tomato sauce Ugh, it's disgusting but garlic aioli i vibe with that and that belongs in the fridge if you're against abortions that is not true i feel like it's better that a child is brought into the world into a place where they're going to be loved than being brought into a world where they're not going to be loved might be an unpopular opinion but there you go you secretly want a hydro flask not true i've got a soil bottle i have had it for like three years now and it is the best investment i ever made you swear a lot um i wouldn't say a lot but i definitely do let one slip every now and then you eat cereal for breakfast i have wee bix no i didn't have wee bix this morning but wee bix bites they're good you shop at glassons a lot true you have great fashion thank you being creative positively impacts your mental well-being that is true you're a bogan absolutely not you've never dyed your hair yes i have i don't know if you can yeah you can probably tell but there's like highlights I've had my hair highlighted either three or four times. You're actually super private in real life. I would say that that is probably true. That is all of them. There's quite a few that just keep on going. That is all of these. I feel like it's going to be a super long video. So thank you guys so much for watching. But if you're that's fine the video, please give a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you around here. It's free and we love free stuff. But apart from that, make sure to smile and I'll see you in my next video. Oh my god, my nose is so itchy. YouTube, oh my god, my nose is so freaking itchy.